Hi, my name is Dr. Ryan Hansen with Elevate Chiropractic and Rehab, and I'm going to be going over a brief video of kind of a generalized warming up video for running. I, this is the one I use personally, so take it as you want, but basically for me, I try to take this joint by joint from a mobility and an activation standpoint. So I just start from the ground up. We're gonna be working the ankles, the knees, the hips, and kind of the trunk as a whole. So to start off, I just try to get my ankles nice and loose, whether barefoot or in running shoes. I'm just gonna be doing some ankle circles and I kind of just keep everything the power of tens. So we'll do 10 circles to the right, 10 circles to the left. Really just kind of roll over that foot and get a good stretch. I'm gonna do 10 circles to the left. On the other side, I'm gonna do 10 circles to the right. On the other side, just really getting that ankle going. I like doing this one in shoes because it's a little easier to do your circles, but really just trying to get that joint complex nice and warmed up. From there, I go to my knees. Feet come together, slight little bend. All I'm gonna be trying to do is create circles with the knees, letting them go over the toes and kind of having a little bounce to it. So 10 circles to the left, 10 circles to the right, and then I'll make figure eights. Five figure eights one way, five figure eights the other way. Don't worry about making these too pretty, just trying to get some weird angles and kind of warm up these joints and knees to take a lot of load and random landing. From there, I go to the hips. I do a pretty standard, just normal hip car. You can use something for balance, and if you don't understand quite what the hip car is, you can go to our YouTube page at Elevate and find hip cars. But this is kind of the biggest bang for the buck. If we can get these hips really warmed up, that's gonna help a lot of the other bodies. So for hips, again, trying to keep everything stable, but we're just moving from this hip joint. So foot's gonna, knee's gonna come up, out to the side, turn that, really maximizing that circle, trying not to bend and be all over the place. Again, nice, clean hip circle and back. I'll do about three or four each direction to get nice and warmed up there. Same thing on the other side. Just really trying to maximize that hip joint, really trying to open it up, get it ready for the demands of running and rotating within that pelvis. After I hit that pelvic or hip, hip mobility, I'm gonna go right into the pelvis. I'm gonna do my best to trying to keep the sternum nice and straight and just rotating my lower half. So I'm trying to do this to my mid back and my low back and pelvis to kind of start to engage it like a coil so I can have some momentum to go forward when I run. Just trying to get everything separated here. And then I'll just do some big reach arounds, just kind of get the shoulders in this open up chest here. Really get the obliques and the lats, everything opened up nice and loose and long. And that's kind of the general mobility I'll do. I'll take about 30 seconds or so, 45 seconds each area, maybe a minute for the hips, just to get things really warmed up and engaged. And then I'll move on to the strength piece. Again, I start right at the ankles. So I'm gonna go two-legged calf raise to start. Really trying to push up through the big toes. I don't want us coming off to the sides of the ankles here, right over that big toe coming straight up off the ground. After I do about 15 of these, I'll usually grab something and I'll start doing a set of uh, single leg exercises. Because we all know running is just a bunch of single leg calf raises and single leg squats. After that, I'll kind of get into a little bit of this airplane position, little stagger stance, single leg hinge, and I'll just work on dropping one hip, trying to take this hip bone to this knee, trying to rotate around that femur. If this is my femur and pelvis, I'm trying to take it around that ball and socket. Because every time we land, that hip wants to come here. So if we can really access that range of motion, we're gonna have a lot better capacity and not have to make that up through our low back. 
So again, just really trying to, you should be feeling that stretch when that pelvis comes down into this kind of lateral hip area. From there, I'll go right into some hops, just trying to get some plyometric going, trying to wake up the body, get it used to some repetitive pounding of the ground. So all we're gonna do there is I'm gonna try to keep my knees nice and straight and not have them bend a lot. So we're just gonna go up and down, nice straight legs, two legs to start. You can use the arms like we're running. Then we'll go back and forth. And then we'll go side to sides. And then most importantly, what I'll do is go for about a three to four minute walk. That is very, very fast paced. Kind of that walk like just before we get running. So we really wanna increase that walking speed, increase that step rate, get that heart rate going and then go right into your warm up. And that's the running generalized warm up video for running. Thank you.